you do know that every cringy intro that we come up with is Jeff's idea. So now you're putting me on the spot. I had so much respect for Jeff before today. <laughs> Jeff, if you're watching this. He's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not in it, I don't care. Thanks for Jeff watching Daily. the Stag Network. That's the whole video. No, we're here to try uh, Kit Kats. Now, what is the actual name on these bags? Uh, Kit Kat Lemon Crisp. Lemon Crisp. Naturally Which, and artificially flavored. That seems counterproductive. That means it's really just artificially flavored. Um, I would assume that, like, when you say crisp, oh, they, it, it's my, as I touch one, I, my entire opinion of what I actually think that means changes. It's definitely thicker than a regular Kit Kat. But I want it to taste like, like a lemon pie. Like... Like the lemon pie crust, sure. Wrapped around a like a chocolate cookie. This is what I want. Are you thinking smell it? I'm, I'm so far behind already. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like like lemony white chocolate, which I'm not a big white chocolate fan. Oh, I personally. love white chocolate. Oh, love it's not it. even chocolate. It's not chocolate. You're right. It's not chocolate, but it's it's its own desirable thing. It does smell like lemon or chocolate. I can already tell by your face you're not going to like uh, we'll it. We'll see. We'll see. All right. You want to yeah, just... That's lemony white chocolate. It's not really crispy. Hmm. I mean, I think the, the, the crispiness is that interior. Sure. And I that's, think that that interior has got more of like a like a grain crackery like lemon like cream a, pie. More than a grain plus. of a, a crust, more so than like a regular Kit Kat. Yeah. What? But then the the lemon flavor in the chocolate is actually very strong. It is. It's, it's definitely. Which I worried apples. it would be. It would be kind of mild, almost a little bit. Yeah. But it's definitely like there. That taste is there. Yeah. And, and it I, is white chocolate, though. Yeah. You get both, which I oh, like. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like, oh, lemon and then white chocolate for, like, you know, after the first second. No, it's kind of, like, mixed throughout. Mm-hmm. It's almost softer in the middle than a regular Kit Kat. Like, crisp, sure, like, it crumbles like a pie crust, but that almost makes it softer than the regular inside of a Kit Kat. Yeah. I, I'll be honest, I haven't had a Kit Kat in a while, Okay. so I don't have a good like frame of reference. I like them. I think they're very tasty. Um, yeah, these won't last very long when they get set <laughs> on a plate like in the living room and I just yeah, walk no. past it every day. Oh, yeah. I'll be They'll like, be gone. Oh, yeah. These are gone. Um, quite good. I actually yeah. really like these Kit Kat. Keep these coming. Yeah. These are a good Easter candy because that's when these are from. <laughs> frame of reference it is. Nay. <laughs> So, and uh, frame of reference, this is coming out in July. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's good. It's very good. I'm a big mm -hmm. fan, Kick Hats. Keep it coming. Thanks for watching the Set Network. That's Ben. He streams. His wife uh, does BookTube. Yeah. So Laura's can, Library Card. Laura's Library Card. You check that out at Laura's Library Card on YouTube. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. The that's, the that's, that's the whole video. Subscribe. No outro. No, no, we gotta like turn around and be like awkward and like look at stuff. What's there like... to look at? Your <laughs> Nebo collection back here? Come on, dude. <laughs> get at least get something interesting back here.